Hey guys, Johnny here, back with a brand new crate opening video in Call of Duty Mobile. First crate opening of the new season pass. So we got new crates this season. So we're gonna check out what's available this season and probably a list of my most wanted items for the next season. I've been very lucky in the last two seasons. I got pretty much everything I wanted. So hopefully this season's gonna be the same. Let's get into it, guys. If you guys are ready for that one, smash the like right now. Let's go. All right, so let's get into it, guys. We don't have that many crates for the first one of the season because I didn't play much multiplayer yet, but I'm starting today. So in the next crate opening, we should have a lot more of these, but still we can look what we got this season. Let's start with the clan crates. No changes in the clan crates. It's been three seasons in a row. Since the very first clan season, the content never changed, guys. So it's all... Usually I get a lot of these sprays, but it's the same sprays for three straight seasons. So I wish they would change the content, but at the same time, I still don't have the AK-47. So I don't know what you guys think, but for the players who already got everything, it's just a waste of time, these crates. But let's go again, guys. And this season, season five, uh, on the season pass, we probably got like four weeks of these. Hopefully we can get the AK-47, guys. And this is the first of the season and nothing, 100 credits. Uh, we're gonna go one by one on these uh, and anytime you get credits is good because these sprays guys are no joke I get a lot of these sometimes four or five in a row uh, for many weeks uh, we got more credits 50 credits then we have another one so that's not too bad all right so no weapon guys and uh, the other weapon the m21 I think I got twice so okay let's go with the fearless soldier crate Guys, this is the new Terrence Brooks crate. Um, it was called, I think, Daily Crate at some point. But it's for the login rewards. So at the start of the new season, they started replacing the Terrence Brooks crates with Fearless Soldier crates. These crates were very rare. In Season 2, they started. And I never got lucky with that one. I got that from another crate, the Arctic 50. But guys, uh, Terrence Brooks was here for like four straight seasons and I had like hundreds of these crates and I did have everything so the goal for this season guys I hope we can get Kravchenko I know some of you guys have it maybe some guys are disappointed the rest of the crate for me is useless like these grenades are horrible never gonna use this uh, the Arctic 50 super rare guys good luck with that one I wish you guys can have that it's very nice. I use it in Battle Royale now. But yeah, let's go, guys. We got a few to open. And it's going to be Kravchenko this season. We'll be, we will be looking for it. Can we get lucky on the first day? Not really. This is a Neon Tiger need. And then again, uh, you're going to get a lot of duplicates, guys. And I think that's it for this one today. And Neon Tiger Frag. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of these duplicates. Not much in this crate. And only two rares. All right, now the Rune Spades is on the Battle Pass. And that one probably is the daily crate you can buy every day for like 40 card points or something. I never got lucky with these. I didn't get the, the Police guy, uh, the Archangel Prophet. And now this season, the Rune Spades. Uh, I don't know. You guys can rate it in the comment compared to the Police or the Archangel Prophet. Well, maybe, maybe the best of the three. The, the Police guy is very cool. But this one is pretty badass. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but let's go. What else we got? Oh, the M16 Evil chip I don't use. Uh, AG40 I don't use. The shotgun I don't use. It's a bit disappointing, the rest of the crate, guys. Uh, and I think I have that. The ATV Hazardous, I don't know where I got it, but... Yeah, there's not much to look for. The ASM-10, though, it's a very good weapon. Uh, we got a cool knife also. So, yeah, I would be happy with the ASM-10, the knife. But the rares, this is the only one I really want. So this season, again, we'll be looking for that one. Pretty rare. And we got the MSMC. Like these crates, we don't get that many of these. Like probably less than 10. And sometimes in events. But that's going to be it, guys. Uh, next one. 50 credits. And last one. Another MSMC. So duplicates. Two out of three. Not so good, guys and uh yeah we got golden crate tickets but we cannot use them anymore that's pretty messed up i did talk about it a while ago uh they removed their crates one day before they removed the tickets so people could still buy tickets but no crates to exchange for 
so i don't know what they're gonna do with that guys and by the way uh the daily coins guys i'm at 88 right now all right last crates for today this is gonna be the season crate guys still legion crate and these weapons are pretty disappointing the steel defense series uh there's been some memes on that one some comments also they look like uh the basic weapons and the weapons with no skins type 25 is pretty cool by 15 is a decent one the pistol is nice but i don't know guys why they did that uh it's like the lone wolf sniper it's just a basic skin with maybe I don't know maybe it's a bit shiny in game but i guess the holy grail this season is the arctic 50 still blue that's gonna be the holy nuts guys i want that i use arctic 50 in br this is a remodel it's very nice and probably it's less than one percent well actually it's 1.7 percent so i guess if you open between 50 and 100 crates on average around 75 crates maybe you'll get it but still it's pretty rare let's go guys we got a few to open today but we'll have a lot more next week guys so this is the first of the season boom the wrong one all right no i did open one on stream so it's the uh, arctic 50 reticulated the wrong arctic 50 guys oh my god fake news ah uh, the knife okay why do i have that uh, apparently i did open some all right two duplicates and first two crates oh come on two knives all right, guys, that was not so good. And by the way, before we end this video, we're going to go back in the shop. And I told you guys, if you guys have crates instead of bundles, I think you guys probably have the daily crate at 40 COD points. Tell me in the comments, please. I need to know. But I used to open these crates every day. 40 COD points, 40 COD points, 40 COD points every day trying to get the police. I never got it. And then every day, 40 COD points, almost every day. For the Archangel Prophet, I never got it. But the uh, the new rune is in the bundles. So it's called the Burnout Bundle. And it's 1600 card points. So it's about 40 days of daily 40, 40, 40. So I don't know about... Is it, is it a good deal or not? I think so. Because usually, if I bought like 30 straight days... Uh, I would spend almost 1600 card points. Maybe not exactly, maybe 1200. But on the flip side, I never got anything. I just got a bunch of trash St. Patrick items. And this time, well, you get everything. So you're guaranteed to get the skin. You're guaranteed to get the, the Type 25. So I don't know, guys. Instead of buying the crate every day, this is a better deal. It's going to end up costing you more but you cannot get unlucky and get nothing so i don't know i don't know if i'll buy it probably i'll wait at the end of the season uh we got we got 24 days so i'm guessing in 24 days on the last day if i didn't get from the free crates maybe i'll buy it but once again guys are the bundles still gonna be here in 24 days because on the reddit right now and probably on twitter also people are pretty mad about the bundles it's totally unfair i'm the first to admit I never said it was okay. I never said it was right what they're doing. I just reported the info from the Reddit. I said they are running a test. They announced it. I'm not defending anything, guys. Yes, it really sucks for the guys that still have crates. It is not okay that some guys pay less. But it's it's there. And I don't have the choice. I don't have the option. Like I have bundles. I cannot choose to go back to crates. It's not my decision. And... I'm really like I said I said bundles are much better than crates and if I had to choose of course I would choose bundle and yes I wish everyone had the same it would be more fair if they were gonna run a test of course it would make more sense to test on everyone because they have a bigger sample uh, sample size and they would have a better idea how people will interact or how people will behave but hey I'm not working for Activision so guys, the comments on the YouTube videos, I'm with you guys, okay? I never said Activision did something right, but like I hope they I hope they have a good experience with the bundles and they decide to switch. And like I said on yesterday's video, maybe it has something to do with the laws in certain countries. Definitely they're going to make laws to ban gambling and loot crates in video games. Maybe they're looking for an alternate way to monetize their game. 
that will not involve gambling. And of course, it's going to be better. But then they have to decide about the price. Uh, are they going to stay cheap? Because I think it's cheaper that way. But uh, definitely, they're going to have to do some tests with that. So, guys, that's it for today. Short uh, crate opening. But next week will be bigger. Like I said, I will start working on my multiplayer achievements. I only played Battle Royale this season so far. I played like three rank multiplayer games. So, I will start working on it. And next week, we're going to have more crates. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment below if you get lucky already with the crates. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.